everybody thinks they're funny. So everybody's always telling a joke and everybody thinks that they're the funniest person that they've ever met. And with comedy, because the internet is so viral, you can quickly build, establish yourself if you create a, a viral hit that, that becomes a phenomenon. So the beauty of comedy and why there are so many people doing it, you know, aside from the big players, but kind of just anybody with a webcam, a couple of friends and an idea, is that it's a totally level playing field. Anybody can be the next viral sensation. The, the trick is being able to, to parlay that and to consistently come up with something funny. And you know, we are seeing a real glut in the comedy space right now. Comedy.com just launched. Just a couple weeks ago, the Independent Comedy Network launched. You've also got My Damn Channel, Super Deluxe, uh, Comedy Central, um, uh, and just a host of others. Everybody getting into this space where Everybody wants to create, like, oh, Funny or Die, obviously, is another one uh, where the people want to create these, these viral sensations because they're the things that you pass on. How do you think people want to consume video? And I know there's a, uh, people consume in different ways. Do they want to subscribe and watch to uh, sort of a, an ongoing show? Or are they really into more of the picking from a menu in a more ad hoc way? Uh, do you see any sort of kind of trends the way that people actually consume video or how you consume video yourself? Um, well, you know, it's interesting to look at how I consume video. I, I'm probably a different test case than other people because I spend my day watching online video. So I think the average that people spend with online video, according to the latest stats that I read, was in the three minute mark. Um, but I've also, when we were speaking with uh, the Hulu CTO, Eric Fang, said, that people are engaging more with full episodes and people now have the option of watching full episodes and catching up with, with TV uh, that they might have missed or want to watch again or, or you know, in the same week. So it's, trends to this point may not be as important because now there is so much more available that wasn't available before, right? So before you couldn't get whole episodes of TV. Speaking of the evolution, do you think there, there is an evolution from consumer-generated content? Was that sort of who, the people who redefine the, the sort of the medium and now sort of the prosumers or more professionals will have a bigger presence in online video and what's watched? How do you see that developing? Well, there's always going to be a mix, right? Because even if every single network puts every minute of content they've ever created online, that doesn't stop somebody from going out and buying a relatively inexpensive video camera and a computer and editing it and putting it up online. You know, there's always going to be that desire to create and the desire to share. And so that's never going to go away. How do you guys figure out what to cover and how does that work? Well, you know, I, I got to give credit to Ohm and Liz because they really created uh, uh, a magazine for lack of, uh, you know, an online publication that is covering a niche that no one else is really covering. There are a lot of tech publications, but because we're focused on online video and the way that the way we experience TV is transforming, we're really ahead of other people. And Ohm and Liz bring with them, uh, you know, started with such journalistic integrity. It's not about getting uh, everything up. It's about getting the right things up and finding what's strategic and why from kind of every perspective that you could find. How are things connected? What does a CDN change mean for a you know end user? What does it mean for an advertiser? What does it mean? What does HD mean to all of the people involved? And then it's not just coming up with that idea, but also doing the research and the legwork to find out more from the story to get the facts to get the comments, to get people's reactions from the people directly involved in it. So it's, it's, really, it's really fun to be a part of. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun to be a part of because there's a lot of integrity that goes along with the way we work um, and how we go about mapping this new terrain, this new online terrain. It's almost like we're cartographers and saying, this is important, watch out for this. Hazards up ahead here, but clear skies, you know, and open fields over in this direction.